Welcome back to Master Data Management 1. In the previous video, you learned about match rules and even created a couple of your own rules for your own contact model. You also published the model so it is ready to deploy to the contact repository. We're going to dive right back in, so let's get started. Now that we've set up our match rules, we have officially completed the first step in the MDM lifecycle, which is define. And you are now ready to move on to the second step, which is deploy. You may have noticed we have two sections of the model that we didn't configure yet, which are the data quality and the tags. We're going to cover them in more detail later in this training class, but for now, we have a minimum requirements that we need to set up our MDM solution. And with that, we are officially ready for the second step in the MDM lifecycle, deploy. The goal of the deploy step is to ensure data model integrity with policies and versioning for centralized control of repositories. Essentially what this means is that we're going to deploy our model into the contact repository and then identify which source systems are going to interact with it. Right now, our contact model is sitting in the models tab, waiting to be deployed into a repository. From this screen, we can see several important pieces of information. We can see the current version of the model. In this case, we have only one version. When you choose to publish a draft or newly created model, it will be assigned a version number. And each time that you publish a new change, the version number will increment up by one. We can also see that we have the last modified date and who it was modified by. And we can also see whether the model is a draft or if it's a fully published model ready to be deployed. Since our model is currently published, we will be able to deploy it to our contact repository. During the deployment process, you are able to select the model to deploy and the specific version you want to deploy. This can be very useful if you have a legacy repository that needs to use an older version of the model while also allowing you to make updates to the model for future use. Deploying a model is pretty simple, so I'm going to go ahead and hop right into it. Feel free to follow along in your activity guide while I demonstrate exercise number seven, and you'll have some time to do it yourself after the video is complete. Moving over to where we left off, we can see that we are currently on the models tab. And in order to deploy our model to our contact repository, we're going to need to click on the repositories tab. You'll notice that our contact repository is the only repository active right now. So you can go ahead and click on that repository by selecting anywhere within this white box. The screen we're given is the deployment screen right off the bat. And you can see a large button that says deploy your first model. If you'd like, you can read the description here about the deployment. But in order to deploy our first model, we can simply click on that large green button. Once you've selected deploy your first model, a new window opens that allows you to select the model name and the model version. In this case, if we click on the dropdown, we can see we only have a single model, but if you were to have more models, they would appear here. And since we've only published our version of our model one time, we only have a single version to choose from. However, if you make changes to it and publish it again, you will then have multiple models to choose from. You can then go ahead and click the OK button and it will only take a few moments for this to deploy successfully. You'll then get a success confirmation, and you'll notice that your contact model is now attached to your contact repository. And you can see the status of it should be a green node over on the left side of the screen. So now it's your turn to try exercise number seven on your own and deploy your model to your contact repository. Once you've completed that, you can start the next video.